Hi, Chris here with Game Gum Shoes. Thank you for choosing Game Gum Shoes for your reviews and everything. Right now, I'd like to introduce something that uh, a friend of mine in the past had uh, said I should do. Uh, he was always out with me going and picking up games, and uh, he thought it would be an interesting idea to do something called The Hall. So, each week, I will try to get together all the games that I purchased during the course of the week, trying not to spend more than $20 if I can help it, and uh, you'll get to see what I can get with uh, The Hall, and all these games will be having their instructions available on the website. Uh, first one... Twitch. Out of the box games. It's really fun so far. Uh, if you get a chance, try it. Out of the box games has some amazing games. Um, Word on the Street is a good one. Ten Days in the USA, Africa, the various other places that they go. Um, next, the Middle Earth role playing game. Um, this is by Ice. Uh, I haven't got a chance to look at it yet because I just got it uh, over the weekend. Um, Half Price Books, amazing place to go to if you want to get really cheap books. Also, check your local flea markets. Get really, really good stuff. Really, really cheap. Uh, hopefully this works out well and uh, I get to play with some uh, friends of mine. Next. Everybody knows Gary Gygax and role-playing. Well, this is Gary Gygax's Dangerous Journeys. And um, it's another one I've just gotten, so I haven't had a chance to break it in. But I um, don't know if you see this here, GDW. That's uh, Game Designers Workshop. They are not TSR, the original company that Gary Gygax is with. They're actually the company who started out... Um, the company that became Avalon Hill. Um, so they spawned a lot of really good creators for role-playing games and such. If you get a chance to check out their works. Um, got, uh, here we go, The Amazing Labyrinth. It's by Ravensburger. Uh, Ravensburger is a German company. They have a tendency to make really high quality games. Um, I know I'll do a review of this and many of the other games over the uh, course of my time with you guys. Um, but uh, let me try to give you an example. This is a game tile in our game. It would be uh, very difficult to destroy it. Can't wait to break out this game because I haven't been disappointed by anything they make. Uh, on to the next one. And as I said, I paid less than $20 for most everything here. The two role-playing games were the minor exception because, well, they're role-playing games. They're going to be a little more expensive. Uh, next one, Headbands. It's primarily a children's game, but it can even be difficult for adults. Um, we were recently found playing this at a refuse coffee shop um, here in Cincinnati, uh, Western Hills area. Um, and we like going there on Thursday nights and breaking out a game or two after we've gone to uh, the local... Uh, St. Vincent de Paul or Goodwill and picking up games. Headbands is fun. Definitely have that one reviewed or I'll have Kid Gum she review it because uh, we're trying to get her more involved in the uh, reviews. Um, recognize Napoleon Dynamite. Now this is a uh, Quipic with uh, John Hedder. Um, it is a v uh, video based game, so uh, chances of you playing it outside at uh, restaurants and things will be mm, not so uh, likely unless you want to bring a portable DVD player and you've got a place that doesn't mind the noise. Uh, haven't had a chance to play it yet. Again, part of the haul for the week. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to play it uh, sometime 
probably Thursday night when I uh, break out all the games and uh, see how well they work out. Now this next one is an interesting game I picked up. Um, it's called Follow Your Nose. Now, it's by Discovery Toys. Discovery Toys also partners with uh, Ravensburger and a couple of the other foreign companies. Uh, I'm going to open this and show you a little piece of it. Because um, it's, it's a different kind of game idea. Um, something I really thought was... Uh, interesting and stood out to the point where I had to buy the game. Um, it is a little older. All of the pieces were intact. Um, right. Let's do it this way. Okay. Don't know if you see it, but these little pots, and there's two, four, six, eight, sixteen of them total. Each of them contain a different scent or fragrance. And you get these little flashcards, and you try to match up scents in the containers with the pictures on the cards. I'll let you know how well that goes. Um, it is an older game, so the scents are still somewhat accurate, depending on the uh, particular scent. I know the cedar and the wood and stuff still smelled like cedar and uh, pine and things like that. Uh, so I'll put that up there. Um, dinosaurs Extinct. Uh, let's see. This is Briar Patch. Uh, Briar Patch makes a lot of games for small children. Um... It's fairly simple. Um, you got a board. This is only half of it. Um, and uh, the object is to make it into the 21st century without becoming extinct. Now, you do get your little dinosaur cards here, but you do have the uh, possibility of losing part of yourself and becoming part skeleton. And I thought that that was an amazing touch for a game. So, get them a little chance to see what dinosaur skeleton looks like. And, um... You know, hopefully have a lot of fun. Okay, and that appears to be all the games for this week's haul. Um, hopefully we'll bring you back uh, quite a few games next time around. Um, we are self-funded. Uh, we do have the website, www.gamegumshoes.com, and, um, you know, watch for our reviews. Um, as Game Gumshoes, we will research your games uh, that you have questions about. If you played a game as a child and you remember bits and pieces of it, but don't remember the exact name of it, and would like to find out if it's still out, still available, or even what the name of it was, just contact us and we'll get that information for you. Usually it takes about two to three days turnaround, depending on how difficult the game is. Um, if you've lost your rules to your games, you can contact us and we can do one of two things. We can either give you a copy of the rules from our vast collection of games, which are listed on the list page on um, the website, or if you go to Facebook and uh, like our Game Gumshoes page, there is also in the notes area a thing that shows the uh, the the the, uh, the current list uh, for the most part. I haven't added these games yet, and actually I have another batch from last week I haven't added. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, if you see the game on there and it's something that's not currently made, I can definitely get you the rules for it. Um, some game companies, like Steve Jackson Games, um, let's see, Mayfair, um, Hasbro, um, I think... Uh, even, uh, Haba and Ravensburger, uh, offer the, uh, rules available for download off their websites for free. Um, also, our rules are free. I don't charge for those. Uh, if you want, you can feel free to donate, uh, to Game Gum Shoes all you want. Um, there is a button for it on the website somewhere. Um, but thank you. Thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Chris. We're Game Gum Shoes, and uh, we hope to see you again next week.